This is the itemizer from the 1950s. It's a little handheld adding machine for women. Finally, am I right? I got mine with the original, original box. Looks like a kitchen timer with a spinny thing on the front and a big button in the middle. I don't have it, but this thing originally shipped with a wrist strap that went right here. That makes it one of the earliest wearable computing devices that I know of. Trust me, I know women. Women need this wearable plastic gray circular adding machine. An adding machine made for women sounds like a novelty at first, but actually by the 1950s, women had entered the office workforce and were already operating very fancy scientific and computing machines all over the country. Here's Katherine Johnson using a Monroe machine at NASA. They made a movie about her. Here's a giant adding machine being used by a ghost. The itemizer is a bit different because it's marketed as a personal device. This isn't for you to use in an accounting office. It's for a modern, capable woman to use in her own personal life. Here's how it works. It's got a dial that spins and a button you can push down or pop up. When the button is pushed in, spinning the dial will spin the number in the black window, which represents the answer. Then when you pop the button back up, the dial winds back to zero while the black window stays put. Actually, it's supposed to wind itself, but the spring in mine doesn't work very well. So to add two numbers, let's say 59 plus 83, I push the button in, dial to 59, and pop the button up, spin it back, push the button in again, and dial to 83. The black window now shows 42, which is the last two digits of the answer. The hundreds digit is stored in this other window on the other side. You clear the thing back to zero by pulling out this tab on the back and spinning it. This will spin the black dial to wherever you want, so you just turn it back to zero. You can also subtract by doing some kind of reverse process. First you dial in the number you want to subtract from, then with the button up you spin to the number that you're subtracting, and then you push the button in and turn it back to zero. So here's how you do 73 minus 66. This thing is obviously limited by the fact that the total can only store three digits. These two over here plus this one. And the number you add can only be two digits. But trust me, I know women. Three digits will be plenty. So it's a pretty neat little adding machine that fits in your hand. Of course, the real appeal of this thing today is the marketing that they use. I absolutely love the graphic design style on the box. You can tell the people who made this thing really put some time into making the box look appealing. It's brightly colored with the classic typeface. Looks like a jewelry box, like it's got a necklace or a bracelet in it. Even the bottom of the box looks great. For the calculating woman. That's gold there. And there's real design inside the box too. The thing has a fairly complicated structure inside that fits the machine perfectly. It's a shame the device itself doesn't look as classy as the box. By itself it's a pretty boring looking gray circle. As far as I can tell it was made in the mid 50s by a company called Clemens Joyce in Chicago never made anything else. I assume they didn't make very many of these, and it seems like nobody bought them. I hope their graphic designer got paid at least. Speaking of that, let's check out the instruction manual. I don't have an original copy, but I found a scan online and printed one out for myself. It's pretty great. I absolutely love this lady. She's got a great 1950s art style to her. She's holding that ridiculous hand buzzer. Here she is at the grocery store. They give you plenty of advice for where to use it, in an office, checking restaurant tabs, demonstrating simple addition and subtraction to school children. Would that really help kids understand addition and subtraction? I don't know. A teacher gift, a bridal shower for wife or mother. It works as a bread and butter present, whatever that means. And you can give it to the girl in the office, in quotes. I think I do know what that means. Anyway, the atomizer is really great. 
It's kind of the polar opposite of a big desktop adding machine of the early 20th century. Those things were loud and heavy and full of precision machinery. They were all about functionality. The itemizer is a classic case of form over function. Like it says, it's novel, it's elegant, and modern. But I doubt any woman really used this thing regularly the way they were supposed to. I think this thing was pretty worthless when it was new. Now it's like an object of art. A time capsule from a different world's attitude about what it means to be a modern woman. But what do I know about modern women of the 1950s? Here's what I know. If you got yourself a girl in the office, don't give her the itemizer. Get her a box of chocolates like everybody else and then go home to your wife. You do not want to get involved. (laughs) Thank you.